Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. 2024, man, is here. It's getting crazy and crazier, spicy and spicier throughout this whole process, man. This whole corrupt ego system, what's going on, what's taking place. We've been covering it, keeping you guys updated. We've been taking all kind of requests, emails, DMs kind on it donations shout out to my kind donators shout out to all the real ones man showing so much love but um we got an email sent in not long ago um from my brother brandon who's been supporting me for a couple years now from my, my my other channels that i'm pretty big on and he sent me this link and he always shows me so much love and he's also a veteran as well salute to my veterans man my soldiers my truckers my farmers my hard workers Yes, indeed, man. Salute to the ones that's not going to pay their taxes this year. <laughs> I'm wishing the best in everybody's life, man. I don't care what skin color you are, what where you live at, what state, what, what culture, your background, what you've done in your past. I want to tell you on this channel, you are loved and accepted, man. And we're wishing the best in everyone's life. Join the OK Life family. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit that like button. And let's check out this video that my brother sent in, man. Black woman delivers powerful speech in support of Donald Trump. Blast Kim Kardashian for being fake. And this was a couple months ago, and it already has over a million something views. Wow. So this has to be powerful. And from the looks of the comment section, um, this touched a lot of people, man. A lot of amazing people were touched by this speech. So let's check it out. And again, if you're new to the channel, join the OK Flight family. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. And hey, man, we're wishing the best in everybody's life, man. In a couple months, it's time to make a big decision, man. Brother Donald, we here, baby. Trump 2024. Trump 2, did I say it right? Trump 2024. <laughs> Trump 24, baby. Yeah, let's get this thing rocking and rolling, man. Let's check it out. When it comes to President Donald Trump, I want to say this because a lot of people accuse this man of being a racist. Hmm. And I just want to say that I met President Donald Trump working on criminal justice reform. I, too, was one of the ones that said, no, I don't want to go talk to that man. I don't know him. He... He hates black people. That's what they said. And so they said, well, Angela, he's working on criminal justice reform. You have a story. Many of you may or may not know that I served time in a Georgia state prison. Mm. And while I was serving time in that prison, I was pregnant. And when wow. it was time for me to deliver my baby, I was transported to a hospital here in Georgia by a police officer. And I was chained to a bed and I was forced to give birth to my baby with a sheriff watching for a nonviolent crime. Wow. Wow, that's my first time hearing uh, how that happens when a woman is is uh, is currently locked up but is pregnant and um, has to deliver their baby. Wow, man, oh man! And I've talked to a lot of people, um, you know, in particular that are, you know, my color, you know, black people, <laughs> and um, we're just gonna keep it professional. But you know, they they've claimed that Mr. Donald was. Uh, Right, you know, the the R word, right, you know what I'm saying? But now we see a lot of them that were so called Dems, you know, they're 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 turning to Republicans now. They're they're they've turned they've switched sides to what's all what's all been going on these last couple of months this past year, you know, these past couple of years, you know, we've seen a lot of people um change. But um yeah, that 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 race narrative, you know what I'm saying, that that has been huge for a lot of people and why a lot of people made certain decisions. If you know, we've seen it. We've we've covered a lot of videos, we've seen a lot of data research upon it, you know. But man, wow, I've never um heard how people that are pregnant in prison, you know, that are well, she got locked up during the time she was pregnant and had to deliver her baby. I've never wow. But anyways, let's get back to the story. My bad, you guys. Also separated from my family for a nine. Let's go back. By a police officer, and I was chained to a bed, and I was forced to give birth to my baby with a sheriff watching for a nonviolent crime. 
also separated from my family for a nonviolent crime. But you know the Democrats said we only supposed to fight for the family separation at the border. They forgot all about the family separation in the border. They want Trump to apologize for the CP5, but they ain't demanded that Joe Biden apologize for the 94 crime bill. But that's something else. I had a story. They told me that this man was a racist, but I had a story and I knew that if I could use my story to convince this man that there was a need to reform our criminal justice system, then I would do that. I wasn't gonna be worried about emotions. I wasn't gonna be worried about the media. I wasn't going to worry about the naysayers. I was gonna go in with my story and see if I could make a difference. I found myself sitting in front of President Trump in the Oval Office and I shared my story. This is the man that they told me was a racist. I don't know, I'm scared to death. Is he gonna hang me? I don't know, is he gonna call the KKK the way that the media has portrayed it? I'm in a danger zone. Just so happened, that he heard my story, not only did he pass the First Step Act, but he also made it illegal for them to chain women to the bed during their childbirth. Y'all clap, uh, clap, I mean, no, that's, that's serious. Again, I've never um, I'm heard this is my, you know, we've, you know, I've, I'm, I'm very educated. I'm very, I've, we've talked about a lot of stuff, you know, you guys, but I've never heard um, any situation. I've never even heard a period of how even, I've never even had a thought of how do people um, that are so-called pregnant that have gotten locked up and it's time to deliver a baby, you know, how is that done? Do, or do they have like a certain health care or hospital area in the jails, you know, in the facility or something like that? I, I always thought it was something in that category, but man, they chained her up. And as you can see, brother, brother Donald de delivered. Yes, indeed, man. Y'all clap it up for that. We'll go back a little bit because I know I'm talking. I want to make sure everybody understands what's going on. This is serious, man. This is powerful. Not only did he pass the First Step Act, but he also made it illegal for them to chain women to the bed during their childbirth. This white man that they told me was a racist. They told me he hated black people. So not only did he just sign one of the most historic forms of criminal justice reform legislation to ever hit this nation, overturning the 94 crime bill that massively incarcerated black America, freeing nearly 20,000 people to this day. The First Step Act, I said- Yep, we, 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 talked, we talked about that, you know, and, you know, in our la our previous videos, you know, but what 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 was really done, man? This guy really. I mean, again, y'all, let's clap it up. <laughs> let's clap it up, man. I hope y'all ready, um, to make that big decision in the next couple of months, man. I hope y'all are ready, man. Cause what's the name? He's he's sleep right now, you know, and the sun is out. You know, the sun is out and he's sleep. People to this day, the First Step Act, I sat in the Oval Office with a lot of criminal justice reform advocates. I saw Kim Kardashian on the front page taking her pictures. I saw Alice Johnson. I saw Louis, uh, Louis Reed. I saw Van Jones. I saw Jessica Jackson. I saw, uh, what's her name, Vivica Fox. I saw Isaiah Washington. But I don't see any of them here today. A lot of people want to take a lot of credit for being criminal justice reform experts, criminal justice reform advocates, but to tell the truth, you didn't free nobody, Trump did. Yeah. Kim Kardashian had the nerve to put up a tweet to say free Gunna. Gunna is a YSL rapper tied to the Young Thug case charged with Rico, the same DA, the same charges, you put up a tweet and say free a known gangster in Atlanta, Georgia, but you won't put up a tweet and say free President Trump. And the only reason you getting any credit for freeing anybody is because President Donald J. Trump 
sign the papers. Donald J. As a criminal justice reform advocate, somebody that's grateful to President Donald Trump for giving me a second chance, giving me an opportunity to run for Congress by clearing my record. Somebody who was completely oblivious to the corruption that happens in Atlanta, Georgia. I just wanted to do something for my community. I refuse to be silent. Not only will I stand for Atlanta, Georgia, not only will I stand for America, not only will I stand for the babies being aborted in the womb, not only will I stand for the mothers that choose life, I'm also gonna stand with President Donald Trump. How beautiful, man. Wow. God bless this lady. Her speech was a bit longer, so I made sure to put the video link in the description so you can go and watch it, listen to it. I'm going to leave you with this picture. I choose this picture because the lady in the video, Angela, she's right here behind. She's right there. And in this picture, you can see Donald Trump with uh, African-American supporters. The media, the fake news media, MSNBC, CNN, and whatever, they want you to believe that this man right here in the middle hates black people you you cannot make this up bro you have all these black people here praying with this man praying for him but the media wants you to believe wow. that this man is racist how crazy is that you let me know what you think about this in the comment section and um god bless you god bless your family yes indeed man that's amazing you guys comment down below what a blessing um again my first time hearing that and i'm glad you guys sent me this link to check it out you know shout out to my, my veterans man that sent me all kind of links to uh post on the channel to check out um keep me informed you know keep me updated you know yeah we got you know what i'm saying yeah i want y'all to know man they got the mega hats uh you get two for two for one price on amazon <laughs> you know what i'm saying but uh we're wishing the best in everybody's life man What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? And we won't change. You know? We've seen and I've seen in my comment section lately um of how you know how things were just different and better when Donald, you know, was in the office, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that in so many comments underneath my videos. Um and then also from this uh New York City the uh thing we have going on right now. The uh, so-called uh, trucker boycott, and we stand with our truckers, man. Support to our truckers. Um, it's just so much going on right now, and so much amazing comments I've been reading for the past a uh, couple of days. And you guys have been such a blessing in my life, man. And again, I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. You know, pay raises, salary increases, upgrades, opportunities, more love, more joy, more happiness. You know what I'm saying? More time to spend with your loved ones, more health in 2024, you know, and that everybody can can win and, and, and live an amazing life with their, you know, with their lifestyle, with their families in 2024, man. We're sick of the nonsense, you know, but that was a very, 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 very powerful speech um, from that beautiful woman um, right there. So, again, God bless her and her, her family and what she's been through, man. And I can only imagine, you know, being chained down to a bed during those certain, during that special, powerful, uh, you know, event, you know, giving birth, giving, giving, giving life, you know, to, you know, giving, you know, that just, that, that kind of bothers me, man. You know, being chained up like a, like an animal, a dog, you know, during those, those situations, you know, I can only imagine. So, I'm glad um, the first step back was that, that and brother brother Jay signed off on it, man. I'm glad, yes indeed. But again, um, I love you guys. Comment down below. Um, God bless all you beautiful people around the world, and wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. I love y'all, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, you guys.